Good morning, everyone. We have this waiting for us in the shop, the uh, top cord of the truss. It's sitting upside down, but uh, so far this is probably gonna be the more most complicated piece that we did. And we're gonna fit it onto the bottom cord. I'm holding my butt. Uh, it looks like you're taking a poop. But look at the look at the the inside handle of our shop space. It's a little little bit chilly. <laughs> right, Nala? You wanna say good morning to everyone? Alright, this is upside down, so we're fitting the web to the top cord. Fit number one. Would you look at that? That just kind of, it just kind of, it just kind of sent it. I just kind of planned. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. All right, so we made a little bit of adjustment. There was a mistake found in my in this discrepancy of my drawing, but it's been adjusted. It's been annotated and it won't happen again. But uh, this is looking great. I'm so happy with this. So we got a truss assembled, web, and then this all lines up. This goes into the top cord. We've got a little template of where our post is gonna be. It's gonna sit three quarters of an inch away from the edge here. And then it's gonna meet up at that pencil line mark. I, I'm kind of not holding it right, but, but basically, this entire assembly goes into a massive 22 or 23 foot post. And this whole thing sits about nine feet up in the air on the lean-to side. We're gonna free up some room in the shop. We have our first lean-to bent pretty much on the rack and we're gonna go unload it in our sawmill lean-to, so we can go into production mode with the rest of the timbers. Four timbers complete, post lean-to. Gonna take them over to the property, free up some more room in the shop. Mountain views. Anything? As, as, as much as we try, we're still doing two lean-to posts a day. We, we've, we're trying to, we put into longer days and we try to squeeze out more, but it's just not going. Um, but this is complicated stuff here. There's a lot of the mortises and the knee bracing comes in, and the 45s and that, but just kind of gets the same time. It just takes a while to do. Yep. But we'll make up for it. There's there's a lot of pieces coming up that are very simple, like a, a notch and you know a few cuts. So we might be able to get uh, three, four, five in a day. Fingers crossed. But then again, there's other stuff that'll take like an entire day, like the main aisle post. And and there's twelve of those. That's twelve of those. Like two weeks. You know, the lean to top cord. There's a lot there too. That one takes a lot all those notches for the purlins and then yeah, that, that was a day for that. that's a day so i don't know i think overall it's just going to be two six a day when you average everything out but let's see but things are moving around the shop we got, got rid of some stuff the pile behind me shrinking you can see our tools now our tool corral 
the sawhorses on the way to get warm. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping we can get through these purlins right here and empty up all over the wall. Yeah, you know, that would be sweet. By the way, we're leaving somewhere, but more on that later. Yeah. Pause on the, pause on the building construction for a little bit and then back at it. So the pile of completed timbers grows. Boy, does it feel good. Soon, soon this pile will become bigger than the one at the shop. One that's piece at a time. one piece at a time. That's that's our that's our masterpiece in pieces. <laughs>